Hey guys, good morning. It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I'm back. I'm literally like probably 30 minutes out of bed. I still haven't even finished my coffee yet. Check out that mug. Got it at Dollar Tree. But um, I'm getting ready to go on a business trip, and I'm going to be on the road for a couple days, so that means I'm not going to be able to craft. So I kind of got up early to... Uh, work on this craft because I thought it would be a really cute idea. And um, it was something that was inspired by um, somebody that I saw on YouTube. Um, I think her name is Caitlin. And she did this really, really cute farmhouse uh, treatment with this heart that hopefully you've seen in your Dollar Trees. And if not, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, the other thing that we're going to use is um, one of these packs of puzzles. You want to make sure that this, that the puzzle is just one-sided though, because you're going to be using that plain side of the puzzle. Um, and then grab some, some chalk paint. I grabbed like three different colors that I thought work, worked really well together. These are from the home, do home decor. I can't talk this morning. The home decor um, collection. I've got like a blue, kind of like a khaki and like an aqua color. So those are going to be really nice in my, um, guest bedroom where this is going to go. And then also you're going to want to grab a roll of this wood grain contact paper. Um, I personally think the lighter is going to be better for this, but um, it, it could work perfectly fine with the dark as well. So let's get started. The first thing I did was lay my heart down on the back of my contact paper and simply just trace around it with a pencil. Once I had my heart completely traced out, I went ahead and cut it out with a sharp pair of scissors making sure to cut right along that dark line. And then I peeled the backing off of my contact paper and laid it down on the heart itself. This was actually pretty forgiving and I was able to move it around as needed. The next thing I wanted to do was start painting those puzzle pieces. My puzzle had about 300 pieces in the box. I painted the plain side of the puzzle pieces and I did about 50 pieces per color. I would recommend just a good even number depending on the number of colors you have. Once all my puzzle pieces were dry, I started to just layer them on the heart itself. But before I did that, I wanted to go ahead and incorporate some of those colors onto the contact paper portion of the heart because I thought that it was just a little too shiny looking and I wanted to distress it a little bit. Now you'll see where I started gluing those puzzle pieces down. And for this part, I literally just randomly grabbed colors, trying to spread out the three colors that I had and just kind of gluing them all around the outline of the heart, making sure to alternate the pieces and stagger them as I go along. Now I did this over and over and over again until all of the puzzle pieces were completely used and it created about three or four layers of puzzle pieces. The next thing I did on the back was just simply make two nautical rope knots out of glue and then just glued them to the back of the heart so I had something to hang it with. Now it was time for the embellishments. I started to use a galvanized heart. Then I uh, switched around to possibly one of these galvanized metal letters. Um, I liked the blessings letter on this, but I still didn't feel like it was just perfect enough. So then I decided I would go ahead and possibly switch it out to some Valentine's letters, perhaps this XOXO, or maybe even incorporating the XOXO and the galvanized heart. Ultimately, I went with this butterfly that was from one of these stakes from Dollar Tree, the garden stakes, and I painted my galvanized heart blue. Then I decided it was a little busy after some feedback from you guys and switched it to the blue galvanized heart by itself. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate everything. And please remember to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks so much.